Gentlelady is recognized. Thank you. And I thank my colleague for yielding. And Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 2713, the Title VIII Nursing Workforce Reauthorization Act, a bill I authored to strengthen our nation's nursing workforce. Nursi nurses are there for the most intimate times of a person's life. They touch the lives of patients and their families every day, not only ensuring proper care, but supporting them through difficult diagnoses and helping them navigate the many complexities of our health care system, and they do it well. Time and time again, my colleagues here on the Hill will tell me about the excellent nursing care they or a family member received. In many ways, nurses are the backbone of the health care delivery system, and we need to keep that backbone strong. And that is exactly what Title VIII has done for over 50 years. In fact, Title VIII is the primary program our nation has to strengthen and grow the nursing workforce. And it does so through targeted investments in the recruitment, retention, and distribution of educated professionals who comprise our nation's nursing workforce. It bolsters nursing education at all levels, from entry-level preparation through graduate study helps nurses repay student loans in exchange for working in underserved areas. It provides support for institutions that educate nurses for practice in rural and medically underserved communities with a special focus on ensuring nurses are ready and able to care for our nation's aging population. And it provides support for nurse educators so that they will be there ready and willing to teach the next generation of nursing professionals. It's also worth noting that Title VIII has been incredibly successful. From 2006 to 2013 alone, Title VIII supported more than 520,000 nurses and nursing students, getting them trained and into the field. H.R. 2713 would continue this impressive track record. Our bill is a bipartisan effort to ensure that these programs can continue, while updating them to recognize advances in the profession. And that is why it has the support from so many of our colleagues here in the Congress, as well as from over 50 nursing organizations. So I want to uh, uh, thank and acknowledge my Congressional Nursing Caucus co-chair, Representative David Joyce from Ohio, who joined me to lead this reauthorization effort. He has been a strong advocate for nurses and a great partner in that effort. I want to thank again Chairman Upton and Ranking Member Pallone and their staffs for moving this bill forward, and my longtime health policy advisor, Adrian Casalotti, who has worked tirelessly with me on behalf of this bill and the nursing profession over the course of her career on Capitol Hill. Now, I hope the House would indulge me for a moment. As a nurse myself, before coming to Congress and co-founder and co-chair of the House Nursing Caucus, I would be more proud that we are here uh, today. As some of my colleagues may remember, in 2002, one of my earliest priorities in Congress, the Nurse Reinvestment Act, became law. It was an important update to the Title VIII program to ensure that it would meet the most pressing needs of our health care system. The bill we are considering today is a continuation of that work I began so many years ago. Much has changed during this time in Congress, but our ability to come together to support nurses and the nursing profession in a bipartisan way has not changed. I want to thank you on behalf of myself and all of our nation's nurses for this commitment then, now, and in the years to come. Making the Nurse Workforce Reinvestment Act law is a critical way to fulfill this commitment. So I urge strong support for this bill and yield back the balance.